it's been it has been checked by the men who build the ring. The referee has just had a jump up and down on it. Just about that. A match over a time of 30 minutes, six rounds, five minutes each round, and the best two out of three, pinfalls, submissions, or a knockout to decide. In the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Lewisham in London, Bobby Bond. And ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, our most recently crowned title holder, the British lightweight champion, Steve Gray. And Steve Gray, our most recent title holder, has got a job on here this afternoon. He's giving away three stone one pound to Bobby Barnes. Steve Gray, a very, very popular wrestler indeed, especially, of course, since he won that title. So over the next six rounds, we will see how he does in a catchweight bout, giving away three stone plus. Bobby Barnes, first time we've seen him on the television for quite a bit. And well, there's a quick pep talk going on there, which we can't hear anyway. Just a quick reminder that the result of the last match was that he was left open, otherwise no contest, and Bridges, of course, would very much like a rematch on that one. The first round... Six rounds, two falls to the side, and the dark trunks, dark blue trunks, with the black hair, Steve Gray. From uh, Peckham, South East London, 10 stone 7. Bobby Barnes of Lewisham at 13 stone 8. The referee Max Ward assures everybody that the... the board that came loose after that 50 stone landed on it in the ring has now been efficiently secured and Bobby Barnes checked it. I don't blame him although he wasn't very popular doing so wasting a lot of time but I think he's right because if the board does come upwards under the canvas it's going to be a very nasty landing for somebody. should do here if he I'm sure he knows it is to go in at the strength holes right from the beginning and try and weaken this lightweight as much as he can early on yes he's certainly doing just that but he's got a bit near that time more worried about his hair being disheveled than anything else Backbreaker over the back. But the feet are free. Allowing Gray to continue to complete the somersault and go for a double handed wrist lever. So an ankle, Gray attacking again. Spent only a the hand. Nicely avoided that play. But he caught the arm roll badly at the end. Very nearly got pinned for it. Four Nelson to Barnes. And a neat attempt at a shoulder press there, but so far Gray staying away from it. Taking the weight on his feet, Bobby Barnes' shoulders and on the head. No counts. Very neat. Four leg lock, Barnes leading the leg through. Ooh, just got that bar through just the last second. And now, of course, he can stand there for as long as he likes, really. Take a breather because nothing great can do about that unless Barnes tries. Now he might be able to. 
two minutes to go for Gray to get out of this. A wicked lockup. Sort of a reversed Indian death lock. And very, very tricky. He's releasing himself. Still the figure four leg lock on there without the bar. Nice, nice escape. Single finger into lock. Gray got them both, but only wanted one. Shoulder throw, just one minute to go, and a double wrist lock finish. To that particular move. Nicely by Gray, one to rule. Super, super counter there. His man is no like it at all, complaining about something perfectly legitimate and very effective indeed. 12 seconds to go. Double knee hold to Barnes. No, he won't do it now. Even if Gray had gone. Um, Got out of, he hadn't got out of that, he wouldn't have uh, gone for a pinfall there. Steve Gray from Peckham plays midfield football for uh, Mike Crow, the Sunday League. Very efficient player, too, I Turn pro in 70 and boxed as a schoolboy. Second out, round two. But now a full time pro wrestler and a man who finally has got his. One of his greatest ambitions, the lightweight title of Great Britain. That coveted belt that has been held so long by people like Jimmy Brakes and Johnny Saint before he became world title holder, Bobby Ryan. In fact, it's the first time it's come down south, that lightweight belt, and Steve Gray got it for quite some time. Yes, lovely switch. The head may have finished, but Barnes tries to make light of it. But it was a lovely move by Gray. Nice leg dive. He left himself a bit open there, Steve Gray. His feet crossed again. A figure four. But Gray's got an idea. <laughs> may not be a wrestling escape move, but it's worrying Barnes a certain amount. <laughs> Knights <laughs> Knights Ward with a grin on his face says, I'll take it easy but it's not allowed although I admire the efficiency of it Double A Nelson now Gray but the feet crossed on the cross head scissors a little bit quick there Barnes and a very quick there Gray to that backhand Equally quick Barnes. Nice to arm Barnes out, but he only went out because he was afraid of the follow-up. Caught the middle rope as he went. So that uh, grey right arm caught between there, but the feet holding the arm lever now. There's the grey arm that's in trouble. He's doubling his stretch. Bounce 
and he's quite happy to stay there for a bit. He gets a breather as he sits back. And Gray has to do all the work. Just trying to escape from this. If you can't get a weaker on your opponent that uh, is effective, lastingly effective, then get him to expend a lot of energy. And the situation is exactly reversed as Gray goes for the single arm stretch now with two minutes to go in the second. up very well from now, there's no question about it, but uh, maybe he's a little tiny bit too proud of it. It's Barnes forcing the... They're both of them trying the same thing, they, Barnes had his own back there, right? but uh, Gray hadn't got enough for him. Jumps, took over to him. <coughs> very nearly a shoulder press for a folder. himself into that ball with the arms and legs completely disappearing out of view. No chance. One minute to go. Force that back hand very, very, very fast and being caught it with his left arm. The left hand real neat. No five bounds. Back break or follow up. Back hand is still on. now 30 seconds grace Gold. interesting to see whether he completes the counter from this before the bell Time for a restart in this round. Or rather, there shouldn't have been any time if Barnes had taken the notice of the bell. There's a neat roll over the back there that's uh, got it on, but he apologizes for it. We've missed you, Bobby Barnes from Lewisham. We haven't uh, seen too much of him recently. This motor rally enthusiast, his ambition has always been to go for the Monte Carlo rally. I wonder if he'll ever make it. He was an amateur boxer, rugby union, golf and swimming. Great sportsman. And he trains with the weights. So round three starts, four, four rounds to go and no score. Two falls to the side of his Steve Gray giving away three star to Bobby Barnes and doing very well, holding his arm so far. Agility is going great. Oh, he shouldn't have done that one. Fly up, turn over the top, beautiful folding press. The other ropes come up, touching them, and it counts. Barnes complains, his feet were not through the ropes there. Just 40 seconds it took away to get that first four in round three. And Barnes still complaining that his feet were through the ropes. Very angry man of it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, the first fall of the contest to Steve Gray. So Steve Gray, the lightweight, <laughs> disadvantage of three stone, one pound, gets the first fall in the third, which is not bad. Halfway through the bout, three to go. Out, round of four. Now, can Gray stay ahead? Barnes will have very different ideas with strength holes now. now. Fair landing, he's got his feet down right. Barnes once again continue with the back weakness. Very happy about 
the fact that that was the heel of the, the hand, but he was, of course, blindside, and we also, I'm sure you would have been it looked extremely like a punch to say the least. That's a good four hour. And a public warning for that. In round four, ladies and gentlemen, the first public warning to Bobby Barnes. Bobby Barnes, a little angry, is being by a training by that one fall and resting that arm on the top rope. Quite illegal use of the ropes there. And now Barnes must go for that left arm all the time, sure. So one public warning against Barnes, but still Gray leading. Gray with the black hair there, back to canvas, still leading by one four, as Barnes is hauled off by the ears. Again, kind of oozes that uh, pull back on the ropes. Two or four he got up, surely. Certainly that was, and that. Oh yes, little, little Martin, ruffling the hair. So thinking about the hair, you're watching their drop kick. Not a good one, my boy. Very, very nice series of drop kicks there by the Lightning Lightning. Bouncing, that's enough in a moment, please. Keeps his distance. He's going in for a straight punch to the stomach. 100% definite, of course, from our viewpoint and from yours at home. But unfortunately, the referee blindsided. Very really suspicious of it, but he cannot give a public warning for this assault. Now then. Impossible to say exactly what he's doing out of there, but the referee doesn't like him. Strange moves, he seemed to be operating more often against the light man. And a tight with the knee before his man's up. It's about the 15th time this happened. Uh, I, he's going to control it, but I don't know if he'll make it. He certainly won't now. And an illegal use of the rope by Gray this time. Gray was so wee bit angry now with a minute to go in the fourth round. Fire! Fire! A full Boston crowd for Barnes. Could this be the equalizer that Barnes has been after? seconds to go. Gray wants to stay leading and he's, he's going to make it, but he's made it. I don't know why Barnes is obtaining some applause there, but um, I'm arguing with the timekeeper. Uh, we haven't seen John Harris, I haven't seen him on his corner on the left. Meantime, Steve Gray gets hope from his second back to his corner, just in time to come out again for round five. Second out, round out five. 
So Barnes trying a knee drop. Going for the back some more after that uh, for Boston Crab at the end of the last round. Situation Gray still leading. Gray in the black haired boy in the lightweight bracket. Dark blue trunks still leading by one fall and L, though public warning against Barnes. And the second one coming up, he continues that. And over the shoulder for a backbreaker there. He slides down the back now. He's got him. Here's a submission. So Barnes equalizes in 45 seconds of round five with the submission. Backbreaker over the shoulder. Ladies and gentlemen, in round five, the second fall of the contest, an equalizing submission goes to Bobby Barr. And that raises his hand in the air, even a smile, but the crowd, of course, were hoping that Gray would stay ahead. But there's one round to go, and Gray's back is really worrying him now as his second tries to treat it a little for him, but he's got to go pretty soon. Second out, six, last round. In fact, right now, final round six. I think Greg, stay away from those back weakness. Yes, the foot came out nicely, the sole of the foot there, stopped him with his tracks, beautiful. Oh, yes. The leg lock roll, beautiful. The crowd love it. And another, he's great. And Barnes really quickly to the bottom rope. And he pays for that too. <laughs> Very definite private warning by Max Ward that Gray must know that he isn't not allowed to do that. But he's just retaliating a bit for all the, the stuff he's been taking. Tremendous stuff. And there's a punch right in the stomach of a low one too. Ladies and gentlemen, the second and final public warning to Bobby Barnes. Well, there is he. Heard the timekeeper probably. Second and final public calling to Bobby Barnes and Max Ward standing a bit close to that airplane spin. Goes down. And he's out. That's what he did that on purpose. And Barnes is out, disqualified. So just one minute, four seconds into the final round, and Gray the winner on disqualification, John Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has disqualified Barnes. And the winner, therefore, Steve Gray. So Gray, the lightweight, gets his win, not quite the way he wanted to, maybe, but he gets his win anyway in the sixth and final round. With that, it's goodbye from all of us in Norbans. Have a good week. Till next week.